What's up, everybody? Ben Raza here for Odd Chopper Golf it's Players Championship. It is a big time tournament, the fifth major. Maybe it's not the fifth major. Who cares? We know it's the Players Championship. Prestigious event, top end event, a ton of money up for grabs, and all the best players on the PGA Tour are in attendance. I'm here to give you my favorite bet of the tournament. Certainly, there's a million different ways to go, and we've got you covered here at Odd Chopper Golf. If you're looking for a ton of different bets, we've got you covered with videos. If you're looking for one and done advice, we've got you covered. If you're looking for outrights, who to bet to actually win the tournament, check out Putting for Doe on this channel here. I'm just giving you a one bet. It's going to be around a minus 110 to hopefully cash a ticket. Before I give that bet, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Let's dive in to what we've got going on and also talk about DK Sportsbook. Tell you a way to turn five into 150 in just a little bit. I'm on the matchups page, as you can see. A lot of different ones. But I'm going to go right here to Patrick Cantley versus Jason Day. A pretty big boy matchup. These guys are, are legitimate threats to win the tournament and to cash their matchup. They're going to have to play very, very well. Let's start with Jason Day. Jason Day. Uh, what can I say? He seems healthy. And that's step one. He's playing great golf. 2023, 18th, 7th, 5th, 9th, and last week, 10th at API. I mean, come on now. Five straight inside the top 20, four straight inside the top 10. I'm not going to poke holes in that. I will say, though, as I start to poke holes in that, the putter is doing serious work for day. He's gained over three and a half strokes putting in every single event that I just listed off. That's massive. That is a ton of strokes putting, which is a volatile stat. Now, at the height of his powers, that's what he was doing. His off the tee game has been solid. Tee to green has even been solid. And even around the green, which, again, is normally a Jason Day skill set, He's playing good golf. I'm not saying it's all putting, but I will say when you're gaining three, four, five strokes putting, it can mask a lot. And if he keeps it rolling, it's going to be tough to stop. But I'm not even going to say he's not. But I still think in this matchup, he's going up against a damn good player in Patrick Cantlay, who's no slouch himself recently. He was third at Genesis. He followed it up with a fourth last week at API. Just ball striking clinic for him. He gained 13 strokes tee to green at Genesis. Another 10 strokes tee to green at API. His putter was straight flat. If you gave him Jason Day's putting from last week, Patrick Cantlay's hoisting the trophy, no doubt in my mind. Now, Bermuda is not his favorite surface, so we are going to have to try to find some positivity on the greens, and I think he can do that. We've seen him do it in Florida. He was a runner-up at Valspar. Patrick Cantlay has the game to tackle anything, and that, that leads me into my kind of next point to sum this up. I don't really care about the course history at Sawgrass. If you look at what Patrick Cantley has done here, it's been next to nothing. He's got a handful of missed cuts in a row. I'm not deterred by that. His game should be more than ready to tackle this. I certainly expect his best players finish this year. He's coming in, firing on all cylinders. He just needs to roll it a little better. Will he? I have no idea. I just know that the ball striking is really prime to carry him a long way. If he sinks up the putting, he's extremely dangerous. Jason Day, if his putting regresses, he's still going to play pretty well, but I, I like can't like quite a bit here. I think that minus 120 is more than a reasonable price. And when I look at these matchups, there's some other ones that have some appeal. And again, we've got you covered on this very channel. There'll be more throughout the week. But I'm going to put Patrick Cantlay on the card right off the bat as my favorite players championship matchup. So Patrick Cantlay minus 120 over Jason Day. The ball striking carries him. The putter will be a little better. And I think Cantlay is very live to honestly win this tournament. So there you have it. Before I get out of here, though, again, I'm so happy with this brand new channel that you guys are supporting. And I can't thank you enough. And one more thing, we always like to tell you what's going on. If you go to the link in the description of these videos, you'll see all the different offers. One of them is Bet5 Win 150 at DraftKings for new users. So if you don't play over there, take a couple minutes and go and click that link. Throw in five bucks. You have to bet it on a pregame money line. So I'll give you some advice of what I would do. I'd put it on the heaviest college basketball favorite I could find. Huge money line. And if they win, you're getting 30 to one on the money. If they lose, you lose five bucks. If they win, you win 150. Pretty good deal worth exploring. And then you could take that and do what I would do, which is put it all on golf because I love betting golf. Patrick Cantlay over Jason Day for the tournament for me, for everyone here at Odd Chopper Golf. Thanks again. If you have any questions, Hit me up at JazzRazDFS on Twitter. Certainly, you'll find me on this channel and everywhere on the Odd Chopper family. Enjoy the Players' Championship. It's going to be a great week. And for me, for Mr. Cantley, and for everyone here, good luck and joy. Talk to you guys soon.